Good morning, fans. Privateer FX coming at you. 08 June. Been a very quiet week. Um, we tried shorting the Aussie complex yesterday. Uh, we short Aussie yen. We scratched that uh, right around here at 93, 93.25. Short Aussie Kiwi. We have a pretty good average on this now. It's probably up at 110.35, but very, very boring, very, very slow going. Um, so not a lot, not a lot to shout about. Kiwi is the best chart um, out there today, but we're not expecting, uh, not expecting much. Like we have um, employment out of Canada today, 2:30 Swiss time. That might be interesting. But uh, this level here, uh, 60, 6112, um, is interesting pivot. Now we've done some work. Um, are we going to close the week risk on? Here's equities. This is a September contract, so this is not some sort of news gap or whatever. But we did close up at 4,300 um, in the June contract, so it closed you know, near the recent highs, uh, down a couple of, couple of handles here to open on the September contract. This is probably a sell on the SEP up at 43.50. Um, might try that today. What else? Oh, let's look at Euro Swiss. Uh, we had that break trade in at 62, and this is the beauty of break trades, right? Like, just didn't get done. Um, going into Jordan's speech, he was he was hawkish, no doubt about it. Basically said he wants to raise 50. Um, Euro Swiss bearish engulfed, traded down to 80. Have not made a new low here. Uh, I'm going to go against the grain here. The story is hawkish, um, but I just have this weird feeling that uh, we have some. We have some very strong hands down at uh, 96.75. Again, this is just a feeling. It's his intuition. Um, not sure if it's tradable, but I just wanted to point it out. But what we do know is 97.62 sometime in the in the future, maybe the near future, but maybe the far future is a very very important level. So put it in your book. Um, get ready. Similarly, like we found out a bunch of really important levels. Uh, that are far but important, 148.64 in Euro Yen, Sterling Yen, um, 172.65. Uh, these are all in the book. We'll be ready when it's ha happening. Um, those will be very interesting trades when they do trade. I'm not saying sell Euro Yen or Sterling Yen, or I'm not even saying buy Euro Swiss here, but I'm saying these levels are now very, very important in those three charts. Not much else to say, right? I mean, rates at the lower end of the range, but kind of in the middle-ish of this recent uh, 357, 385. Um, it's basically just a waiting game uh, until Tuesday with CPI. Gold came back higher, but where are we in gold? We're just right where we started, right? 1962. We have some lonely bids down there. 1922, 1912. Um, we did not get that capitulatory flush. Uh, 1933 now is on a hot CPI. There'll be some carnage in gold. Um, but again, that's for Tuesday. Today's Friday. Um, we got CAD employment, which is incredibly hard to trade. What are we going to do with this? Here's the EuroCAD chart. Euro's probably going to make a new high today. Probably get to the 108 handle. So EuroCAD, 144.27. I don't know. Like, are you going to trade EuroCAD over Canadian numbers? The liquidity is atrocious. Um, and it's always, it's not always, but it's, it's often a very wild number. Um, there's some irony to that, right? Our staid Canadian 
friends who are listening will laugh, you know, like the U.S. employment numbers for the last, I don't know, 24 releases have been very unwild, but the Canadian ones have been all over the fucking place. Who knows? Uh, so it's really, really hard to trade. I'll show you this chart just because in the big picture it's meaningful. We did get, we did sneak below this big pennant um, when Bank of Canada raised, but this is a very interesting level, nonetheless. Uh, One thirty-three eighteen. If you get a super hot number, which I guess would make sense, you, if, if the Bank of Canada gets these numbers early, maybe that's why they raised. I don't, I don't even know. Um, One thirty-three eighteen may be worth a look. Again, though, like you got to be pretty fucking desperate to be trading Canadian unemployment uh, numbers. So be careful. Be careful out there, right? Best chart is that Kiwi chart. Um, we're going to sit short Aussie Kiwi. Just play around with it. Keep getting a safer average. Uh, hopefully this thing will wind into sort of the 109.50s uh, where we can harvest. But, um, man... Slow week, patience is a virtue. That's all I got today. Have a good one, peeps. Talk to you on Monday.